Hey there, everybody. Pete Pardo here from Sea Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of What's Hot with Sea Tranquility. That's right. It's Wednesday, new review day here on the channel. Yes, indeedy. Today, we're going to take a look at a brand new album from a uh, prog rock band on Inside Out Records. This is their fourth studio release. It's the first one I'm listening to, actually, and I'm very surprised by that. But the band is Pattern Seeking Animals, Spooky Action at a Distance is the name of the release. This is somewhat of a super group. I, I kind of almost hesitate to call them a super group because basically all of the members are current members of a pretty prominent current prog group. That being Spock's Beard. Okay, I'll tell you who everybody is in a second. Here's the book. Up there they all are. There's the four piece right there. Pattern Seeking Animals. Lyrics. All that good stuff. Ted Leonard vocals and a little bit of guitar jimmy keegan drums percussion and vocals dave maros basses and john bogahold or bojahold bojahold i don't know how he says his name on uh synthesizers mellotron programming electric and acoustic guitars uh mando cello auto harp string arrangement and vocals he does a little bit of everything that door. um yeah so basically three of the guys are current members of Spock's Beard. And then John has done some work with Spock's Beard. He's done some writing and appeared on some recordings and helped out with vocals and things like that. But he's not a regular member of Spock's Beard, but the other three certainly are. So this is their fourth studio album. Like I said, this is the first one that I'm hearing. This follows uh, Only Passing Through from 2022. They released uh, Prehensile Tales in 2020 and Pattern Seeking Animals, the debut in 2019. So... What is this album, you might ask? Well, it's, uh, it's prog rock, <clears throat> but it's very lush, melodic prog rock. This is not... Uh, what, what I like about this, it's very different from Spock's Beard. It could have easily sounded just like Spock's Beard. It really doesn't. Spock's Beard is very kind of like upbeat and bombastic and symphonic and poppy. This is more lush. There's definitely some pop going on here, but there's definitely uh, more of like a lush progressive rock feel here. Um, less big kicked up bouncy rock arrangements and more kind of like... I don't know, it doesn't really sound like anything else. You know, there's like a moody bluesness to it. There's a little genesis to it. Lots of Mellotron and these big kind of sweeping soundscapes and great vocal melodies and things like that. And most of the songs are somewhat lengthy here. Uh, you got, a, it's hard to read the song titles and I don't know them all well enough yet, but uh, the, the Man Made of Stone is the first track. It's like seven minutes long. That just kind of pulled me right in. I was kind of like, oh, this is something really different. Um, and uh, I'll just read you some of the the book or read some of the song titles so you got uh, window to the world man made of stone kicks it off what awaits me uh you've got uh, underneath the orphan moon clouds that never rain it's an interesting title uh bulletproof somewhere north of nowhere summon from afar there goes my baby and love is still the light um and you know, I was kind of glancing over some of the lyrics. There's some very spiritual stuff going on here, very uplifting lyrics and whatnot. But I, I really was taken by the excellent vocal harmonies and the kind of, like I said, this pastoral lushness that permeates the whole album. And it just, I'm very happy it sounds different from Spock's beer because I think these guys could have just kind of done something very similar and they totally have not. So if you like your progressive rock, very melodic, but just kind of like sweeping and drifting along with lots of great vocal harmonies, awesome acoustic electric guitar, loads of Mellotron and different types of keyboards and like, you know, the two and three part harmonies, vocal harmonies. This is a real winner. Uh, I'm surprised how much I like this. I shouldn't be surprised because I like all these guys a lot. I think uh, I think I'm more surprised that it didn't sound like I was expecting it to. And I've heard a lot of people talk highly about this band over the last couple of years, but <clears throat> I just never really seek them out because I was kind of like, oh, do I? I really like Spock's beard. Do I need another Spock's beard? Happily enough, this does not sound all that much like Spock's beard. And I got to say, uh, Ted Leonard, what a great singer. I love him in Spock's, and I love him here as well. So yeah, I'm going to give this a, a 4 out of 5 star, Pattern Seeking Animals, Spooky Action at a Distance. Check it out. I think if you're a Spock's Beard fan, you'll dig it. If you just like really cool, melodic, modern prog, I think you'll dig it as well. Nice surprise here from Inside Out Records. If you've heard it, let us know what you think down in the comments below. Otherwise, go check it out. Come back, report in. 
You know how it goes. And visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube all together all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And click on that notification bell so you get alerted of all of our content as it posts. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also down below, we got the links to our Ko-Fi page for channel donations, our merch page, and our Cameo page. Thank you in advance for all your support there. We'll see you soon here with more stuff. I am Pete Pardo. Thanks for watching. Tune in for more reviews here on this Wednesday. What's up with Sea Tranquility Day? Till then, bye-bye.